Uh, well, Mo, weather-wise, you know, we always have vibes on the Thanksgiving Day Parade and yep. the wind for that. Uh, we've got a pretty decent wind system that'll be coming through uh, northeast Ohio and then eventually out towards the northeast over the next couple days. And this system's arriving just in time for Thanksgiving. But overall, no problems today. Today's a big travel day, right? We've got temperatures in the 20s. It is cold outside. 30s near the cities. Downtown in Akron sitting in the 30s right now. But that south wind is going to help to warm us up. We've actually warmed over the last couple hours. It's light right now, but it's going to become kind of gusty today. We'll see a decent breeze anywhere from 10 to 20 miles per hour out of the south. So the wind chill, this is what it feels like outside and in the teens and low 20s that will be coming up as well. Core of this cold air is over the northeastern half of the country right now. You notice how we warm as we get towards the plains. Nice warm up 50s right now at this hour. Kansas City all the way up towards the Dakotas. That's because they're on the other side of a high pressure. So quiet weather being provided by this. We've got increasing clouds. You see them coming into the Chicago area, areas of southwest lower Michigan, seeing some clouds. We'll deal with that today. But in terms of rain, there's not a lot with this system yet. Uh, until later today. I do expect rain to fill in on radar as the system begins to connect with the Gulf of Mexico, and it's that rain that will watch move in tonight and then on into Thanksgiving. So travel plans today, pretty quiet across the country. Could be a lot worse for this time of year. Quiet if you're heading south or east. If you're heading west, you will encounter that rain on I-80, I-90, heading towards Chicago. If you've got plans to fly out perhaps further off towards the west, there's a Pacific Northwest system uh, dealing uh, towards Seattle area that's creating some problems. Other than that, you'll be fine. Today's weather planner, cold start. We'll have some sunshine mixed with clouds to start. Notice how the clouds increase by evening. The rain will move in late tonight, late tonight. So let's time it out with your National Design Mart Hour by our forecast. You see how the clouds overspread the area. Still some sun peaks around by noon. By afternoon, they should really start to thicken up. I think a cloudy sunset. You notice just a smattering of showers by 10, 11 o'clock. Overnight tonight, that's when everything kind of moves in. You're getting the turkey dinner ready tomorrow morning. We'll likely have some showers around, temps in the 40s. Kind of a raw day tomorrow. We'll be in the 40s pretty much all day long. A gusty wind out of the south. That rain will come and go. I think just light to moderate for most of the day. We'll have breaks, and then the rain will come on back. It's tomorrow night that we bring in the cold air with this system. So we'll say goodbye to the rain by 11 o'clock. Notice how that rain changes over to some snow, and this will be of the lake effect varieties. We bring that cold air off the lake, and we'll continue with the lake snows around here on Friday. Seven day forecast brought to you by Union Home Mortgage. 46, all the better we're going to do on Thanksgiving with rain likely. Those lake effect snow showers continue into Friday. Saturday looks good at this point, nice and quiet for all the small business shopping you might be doing. And then Sunday, we'll keep an eye on a clipper system. May bring some accumulating snow to the area. We'll keep our eye on that. And then cold to start next week. Mo.